Well, thank you for joining us to take a quick look at Acumatica ERP and specifically how it functions for the distribution industry. My name is Rick Stefano and I'm a pre-sales engineer for Software Solutions Group. We only have 20 minutes in this uh, intro uh, video, so I'm going to get right to it. Uh, Software Solutions Group, we have been an ERP uh, partner for 20 years. We've been a, we are a Microsoft Gold partner and we are also an Acumatica Silver partner. We have offices in Buffalo and Rochester, and we are definitely experts when it comes to design, planning, installation, and uh, you know implementing ERP and CRM systems. We have lots of uh, clients that you would probably recognize, and then we have you know hundreds of others that you you know may not. But the purpose of this quick presentation is really just to give you a, a quick sample of, of Acumatica, an idea of uh, what it can do. And if you find it interesting and you want to have a, a more in-depth phone call um, or an on-site visit, we could discuss kind of the details of your business and some of the you know challenges you may be faced with. Uh, we can certainly do that, and then we can walk through a full presentation, kind of tailored for your business. So before I get into Acumatica, I do want to, you know, talk to you about why we kind of, you know, um, joined and, and became a partner with them. You know, today it seems like technology is providing lots of opportunities to improve efficiencies in the workspace. But, you know, we also find that most companies are realizing that either QuickBooks is super limited in features. Others realize that their ERP is just simply outdated. But one thing is for sure. A lot of companies are running multiple systems. They may have one for CRM, they may have one for inventory, a separate one for carrier, you know, shipping integration, maybe another one for quoting, one for accounting. And on top of that, there's generally lots of other spreadsheets that are floating around, you know, an organization. Um, there is a better way than using five or six, seven different software programs that don't talk to each other. Acumatica definitely allows you to consolidate and eliminate a lot of those software products kind of into one solution. But you may be asking, okay, well, who is Acumatica? I've, maybe I've heard of them. I've seen them in a you know, press release or whatever. But they are the fastest growing cloud ERP company in the world. They were founded about 10 years ago. They're headquartered in Seattle. And they are dominating the SMB space. They win award after award. Um, when it comes to, you know, their, their platform and technology, usability, features, functionality, all of that. And really, there's three main reasons why co companies are choosing them and why we chose them. They have a, a core product suite of, you know, everything, finance, all your financials, project accounting, full distribution management, and customer management. So the three reasons that we chose Acumatica line up with why customers love them. The first is you can access the system from anywhere on any device, whether it's somebody down on the shop floor or shipping or somebody in an office or a, a sales rep that's traveling. It's completely um, open to any operating system in any, any device. The second reason is that you can involve everybody because Acumatica does not charge per user license fees. Almost every other ERP system charges per install, per user, and um, with Acumatica, you simply purchase a module and then you can assign it to as many people as you'd like. The third reason is because of the platform. So the platform with Acumatica allows two things, really flexible deployment. You can go 100% in the public cloud. You can you know, put it in a private cloud or you can still uh, deploy it on premises if you like. But the functionality that you get with the platform is just superior to most of the other products on the market. So let's take a look at Acumatica. I'm going to open up my browser here and you'll notice I'm at my login screen. I'm going to log in um, as an administrator. So everything that I'm seeing is going to be basically full features, which won't be the case most of the time. Employees will be able to be restricted based upon their role or anything else. But Acumatica is definitely a single platform that can house all your inventory management needs, including multiple warehouses, you know, sales kitting, um, all your sales order management potential needs, including you know discounts and customer classes, your PO management, shipping and carrier integration, returns, and even uh, notifications. So let me just give you a couple quick features about Acumatica in general, and then we'll get into a couple of scenarios showing uh, some of the processes. So in this blue bar up here, I have all of my suites. And within each suite, the, the second row are going to be the modules within that suite. So when I click on the organization, I'm going to have the communication module, the customer management module, module where I can track all my leads, cases, opportunities, um, anything that has to do with a customer. You know, it has marketing automation um, all built right in. I have project um, 
accounting. There's time and expense for uh, time cards and expense claims for maybe sales reps or whatever. You, you also have shared dashboards. That's what we're looking at right here. This is a out of the box controller dashboard. You know, if I click on the CRM dashboard, I get this, you know, this process flow diagram where all of these are uh, interactive. Uh, from a sales manager perspective, I can see things, you know, this way as well. In the finance, ev everything you would expect from a, you know, full of, um, accounting system, your GL, payables, receivables, fixed assets, deferred revenue, taxes, etc. In the distribution, you can handle all of your inventory, sales orders, POs, and requisitions. So one of the things that um, is consistent through Acumatica is the user interface. So if I just come to the sales orders right here, I'm at, I'm at a sales order entry screen. And this is going to be the same user interface throughout all of Acumatica. So I'll walk you through on the left-hand side. Once you click on an actual module, you get this, this uh, screen. And I, can, I have my work area. This is for the common things that you're going to do every day, like enter a sales order or a shipment or invoice. Then I have the process area, which is you know, these are all the things that happen in the background or once a day or at the, at the end of the week, like, you know, generating, um, you know, invoices or statements. And then you have the reporting tab, which are going to give you a full set of out of the box reports that have to do just with the module that you're in. And then the configuration lets you set all types of, um, you know, preferences based upon the module that you're in. So let's take a look at some of the features and functionality that, again, span across all of, of Acumatica. So I'm in a sales order and I am going to enter. It's going to require me to enter a customer. I can open up the magnifying glass here and it's going to give me all my customers or I can simply start typing and it's going to filter through all of my 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 potential matches here. So I'm going to open this up and you're going to notice that I have this ability to add notes to the sales order. I can create activities for the sales order. I can even attach files. So for instance, if I want to, you know, attach maybe this, this PO, I simply drag and drop it. It's going to ask me if I want to save this sales order. And now you'll notice that it has a little one there. So now that that um, Excel PO is, is permanently attached a copy of it to the sales order. And there's also notifications and even customizing that you can do to any screen within Acumatica. For instance, this little line right here, this do not ship before that didn't exist. I made it in about three minutes uh, by simply customizing it. And I made a little calendar and I wanted this field for, you know, in particular, no coding, no anything. I just simply go the, through the customization process. So I'm going to go ahead and come to the line items here. And this is a feature within the sales order where I can add a stock item. And this is pretty uh, unique. I can come, since I picked my customers, this USA bartending, I can come in here and put a date and see everything that they purchased since a certain date. So I'm going to just move this back since most of my demo data is last year. And I'm going to put it in here for 2015. And I can see the inventory item they, that they bought, how many they purchased the last time. And I can go ahead and simply add a product by you know checking this checkbox and changing the quantity so i'm going to go ahead and add one of these laptop computers that they purchased so you can see i have one quantity and a unit price of 500 there's lots of different fields of which you can minimize and make very um you know, custom to what you need to see. You can also move around columns very easily by dragging and dropping, and that saves it for any future, um, you know, uh, login. So I'm going to change the quantity. So from one at 500, I'm going to change this to three, and you'll notice my unit price changes because Acumatic allows you for line, um, um, line item discounts based upon quantity and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, take this sales order here and it could have been a quote. I, I could have started with a quote from a sales rep, um, and simply converted it to a, to a, a sales order. But, um, here's my sales order. I can do, uh, lots of different things here. First, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and save this particular order of three laptops. And then you'll notice, um, I'm going to come to my inventory, um, uh, summary. You'll, you know, you notice on the bottom, it says on hand 417. So in my inventory summary, it's going to say, here's, this one is, has, um, basically booked three, um, uh, three units. And it shows me right here, the allocation date. There's three on a, on a sales order because I 
truly have 417, but I only have 414 available. What some of the other things that you can do with um, Acumatica, for instance, is I come to the configuration and I want to change the shipping terms. I'll just show you how easy this is. So I have a few built in here, maybe flat rate plus, um, you know, or a flat rate free if they order over $100. But I'm just going to change the CFR, the, the cost and freight. And you'll notice that I have my freight costs, which I'm going to pass on to the customer. And then I can add a shipping and handling. So let's just change this to $15 and that means I'm going to have a handling charge on everything for $15. So if I come back to my um, sales order here, um, I can now, I can do lots of different things. I can uh, take payments and you'll notice I can take, uh, I can change this to a credit card and Acumatica has tokenized you know, very secure ways to go ahead and, and take a new card, add a new card to, on file. I can save all of this. I can authorize or capture the payment. You can even do prepayments. But in the shipping settings, I'm going to show you how you can even um, look at the uh, carrier information without any additional add-ons. This is all straight out of the box from Acumatica. So with one click, I'm going to shop for rates and it auto automatically calculates my weight. I click refresh rates and now it I have my rates right here and I can say that see the delivery dates and the amount. I'm going to go ahead and pick UPS ground uh, for $38. I'm going to hit OK. And then my shipping terms, I'm going to pick this is going to be my cost and freight. So then if I come to my totals, you'll notice here's my shipping cost the $38. And as soon as I refresh my freight, it's going to add in the $15 handling. So now this becomes $53.39. Very, very simple. So I'm going to save this. Oops. I started to mess with the credit card, but I never filled out anything. Let me undo this. I'm going to put this back to just a check. So from here, um, I can do multiple different things. I can go ahead and create a shipment. I can email um, uh, a sales order or a quote to a customer. I'm going to go ahead and click this. You see it's working here and now it created an activity. And if I open this up, I can see right here that the system emailed uh, the customer, whoever was on file as the contact that, that there's now a sales order and there's a file with an attachment to see that sales order or quote right from within here. Um, but now I'm going to actually create the shipment. So I'm just going to go ahead under actions, create the shipment. And now I'm in the shipment screen. Here's my order right here. I can even from here, I can print my pick list. And if you have kitted items, you know, you may only have one product on the, on the invoice, but there may be three, four, however many products that go into that bundled product. And they would be all uh, separated out on your pick list here. Um, I'm going to go ahead into my packages and I will confirm this package and confirm the shipment. And you're going to notice now the tracking number has been filled in. And from here, I can even um, email the shipment to the customer. Now, here's the neat thing about Acumatica. You can have all these things automated if you'd like. So upon a, a confirmation of the shipment, you can have it so it automatically goes out with the tracking information to the customer. Um, but here I just did it manually for you. And then I can also now prepare the invoice. And just in a matter of seconds, now I have my invoice. Um, I have, uh, you know, the, the financial details. Um, uh, I have all of my information right here. I'm going to go ahead and actually release this. Give me one second. And then under, if I come to my financials, you'll notice I have the batch that, uh, that this was released in. If I open this up, this is going to drill me all the way down and show me my, um, my GL uh, journal transactions. So I can see what went to accounts receivable, which went to sales freight and, and sales revenue. So now I'm going to just show you one other thing that has to do with uh, distribution. Of course, you can you can get real deep into setting up uh, Acumatica for um, distribution, but this is just a high level, you know, just walking you through in order. But I'm going to log out and I'm going to log in as a user that I have, Wiley. 
and this Wiley has a much more limited user. And you'll notice I, I don't even have some suites. And in the distribution suite, the only thing I have access to is enter a PO. So I'm going to go ahead and, and enter a PO here. I'm going to select my vendor. I'm going to add an item. I'm going to start typing ahead here. So you'll notice I, I need to order some more laptops. And I'm going to put in 15 of these. Actually, let me make this 25 so that my cost is now 6176. And um, one of the things with Acumatica is you can set up different rules. In this case, I set up a business rule that anything over any PO over $5,000 needs a special approval. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and take it off hold. And you'll notice that the status is now changed to pending approval. So this needs to be approved. And I have it set up to be approved by my... Uh, administrator ID. So for this, I'm going to show you the mobile feature because one of the things Acumatica wanted to nail was the mobile capabilities. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm, this is my phone screen. I'm going to go ahead and open up my Acumatica application. And you'll notice it has my username and password. So from here, I have a very mobile friendly uh, ability to jump in to see different, you know, sales orders or business account information or POs or anything like that. But one of the, the, the things that I have is this approvals. So I'm going to open up the approvals and I'm going to go to my work groups approvals. And you'll notice that immediately I have this PO from Wiley, the one I just logged in for 6176. And I can open up this PO and I can take a peek at, you know, some specifics. I can come down to the you know, the document details, and I can drill in to see, you know, as, as far as I want. Okay, this is for the app, Acer laptops. There's 25. Here's all my stuff. And right from my mobile device, you'll notice I can approve or reject this. And in one second, I just simply approve it, and I'm done. So I didn't have to log in. I didn't have to be in the office. I simply, I could have gotten an email notification, but I can log in right from my phone, see any approval, and in a matter of seconds, approve it. I could enter a sales order that way or a PO the same way, but very, very easy. So one of the other neat things you can do is track all any type of, I'm going to log out here. I'm going to log back in as my administrator. Um, if I come to my, uh, my support dashboard, if you want to track any type of support, this is a neat dashboard. You can, you can make changes very easily. These are, these color boxes are just KPI indicators that, you know, with a simple click of a design, I can add a new widget like this, or I can adjust this one. But in here, you can basically create the, the number from a specific metric, and then you can give it colors and your, your levels that you think, you know, this needs to change color at this level. So in this case, you know, I put that we have open cases of 55, which is, hmm, it's okay. And we have two unassigned cases, which is, you know, okay for us. But um, with support cases, it handles full um, support. And Acumatica also has a new feature that it combines with SurveyMonkey, and you can have it automatically at the closing of a case, send out a SurveyMonkey survey, and then the, uh, the results will be imported right back in for easy uh, review. Um, I want to show you one other customization piece that I did. Very easy, but um, I, this is just in my... Um, my GL. I wanted to, to, to make a link towards a, this currency converter that I'm, I may use on a website. And this button did not exist. And through the customization, I added in about three minutes, a U, I created the button, made it the certain size I want, and added the URL that I wanted. And now I can use this, you know, currency converter that I, you know, may have really liked it or use all the time. But just really, really simple ways to add different things. Um, along with the dashboards that you have, there's also some, you know, you can embed videos for maybe, you know, shipping processes or what are, you know, purchase order process or, or anything, but you can use, there's wikis and all types of document management built right in. And there's also a, uh, a portal that you can, distribution companies can leverage to help, um, have customers do more on their own. So I'm going to just log in here as a portal user, Carl Malone. He's from my USA bartending. 
so he could get access to this and it's he's basically getting a, a slice of ERP and he can browse his own documents he can pull up his statements and get um, any type of um, invoice or payment um, he can look at his previous orders he can copy orders to carts he can even as a user browse the catalog with his specific pricing any anything that you set up in ERP will will transfer over and he can place orders right through this portal so very very easy and then when it comes to reporting obviously there's lots of reports and like I showed you you can create little widgets and um, uh, and KPI indicators and, and other things within Acumatica just like I, I had here and links to reports um, you can also save those to a favorites so if, for instance, you know, there was a certain document that I used a lot, maybe, you know, it's this bills and adjustment entry screen. All I do is click this little star. And now in my favorites, I have a link to that, which makes it very easy to get back to those frequently used items or reports or uh, documents. So the reporting, uh, uh, an enhanced feature of outside of even Acumatica, there's a tool that you can use called Power BI and Power BI um, it allows you to sync up data, not just from Acumatica, but if I come to get data in services, you notice I can, I can, I can link all these apps together. So Acumatica is here. I can link maybe Google analytics or MailChimp or, you know, my, you know, e-commerce or anything really that I'd want to. And what it allows you to do is put all, take more, um, information and put them all right next to each other if you want and you can create different dashboards and one of the things that i like about power bi is it's it's pretty smart and you can ask questions about your data so once it's synced up it's live data and for instance what i'm going to do is just show you just a couple of of quick searches here so if i ask a question about my data like it's asking i can put in here i want to see all my accounts with an extended profit um greater than 2000 and you'll notice this screen just continues to change as I type if I add another zero to make it 20,000 you'll notice this changes and if I could say you know what I want to see this as a pie chart I just simply type in pie and it's here if I want to see it as a funnel I can type funnel and I see it this way and if I like this I can pin this to my dashboard very very easily um, but really it's an interesting way to see and play with some of your your data Another one I, uh, you know, I'll do is to, I want to see 2015, my extended profit. And again, it starts to change the number right here, but I want to see this by state. And this immediately gives me a, you know, this bar graph, but I want to see something more visual. So I'm going to type in map. And in a matter of seconds, here's my map. I can hover over California and I can see where I'm doing well, where I need to maybe spend some marketing dollars. And again, if I like this visual, I can pin it and it's saved there. So just a quick glimpse, you can do a lot with Power BI, but it, it, it's a full integration. You can even bring some of those right onto your Acumatica dashboards if you'd like. So with that being said, that's about my 20 minutes. Um, I guess the next steps would be, if interested, you know, you can certainly get a hold of me, shoot me an email, give me a call, and we can schedule a, a you know, a free consultation. We can take a look at, again, some of the maybe the pain points in your organization, some of the things you'd like to integrate, bring together in one place. And uh, then we can schedule a, a full demonstration, that, again, that's tailored towards your business. So thank you for taking the time. If you have any questions, please reach out.